Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm a. This video today is going to be how to draw or how to engrave on a frame. So we've got our frame here, and I've got it. I'm just designated. So that's what the frame's going to look like. I'm going to take away the color just so we'll, we've got. I've got red hair lines. So I've measured the frame. It's the inside is nine and a half by seven and a half. The outside is ten point six three by twelve point seven five. So you know, my suggestion is just to keep it within the, the lateral line. So you draw out your text and you press P on your keyboard. And that gives you the center of your frame because my frame's in the center already. And then we're gonna we're gonna move down this and you could go, well, about right there is the center, you know, between the the up and down. Well, there's a couple ways you can do that. One of them is by math. And I, I think I, I moved a little bit. So let's go back and let's get it right on the bottom of this line. Because we want it centered up and down too. Now my frame width just happens to be 0.156. My text just happens to be 0.78, which is exactly half of 1.6. So if you have this on the bottom, if you will divide your your height of your text by two, which gives you 0.39 on your nudge factor, click on your uh, text and then hit your arrow key one time. That is in the exact center of the bottom board. Now there's a couple ways you could do that if your little uh, you know, if your text is anywhere close, you can take a two point line, just get a straight line. And I always go from this note, hold down your control button. Well, that didn't work. Hold down your control button and go past that item. Now grab your pick tool by hitting the space bar. Now grab, I grab my frame. Put the frame, let's go order to the front of the page. Well, it did just the opposite. Let me see if I can't grab the, grab my line. There's my line. And I'm just going to move it over so I can grab a little better. Now, this line is in this, you know, this part of the board. Now take your two point line, get your two point line again. Go from that, it'll say intersection, all the way down to node. This will say intersection, all the way down to node. Now you've got a crosshair, and you can see that my text is right in the center. Of the crosshair, a little bit low, but good enough for well, it's good enough. So there's one way you can get it. So you've got it in the center, left or right by by center of the page. But this way you've got it in the center of the wood. And while we're talking about frames real quick, I thought I'd show this. It's pretty neat. You've got a frame drawn. And let's press P in the center of the cage, center of the page. And now you take some artwork that you've drawn have it grouped together, go up to effects or go up to object power clip, place inside frame. Now that will engrave the whole way around the frame and not, you know, touch the glass if you had it in there and not go off the edge. And a lot of times, and this is where you really, you might want to think about uh, running some tests. So let's go back. When you've got this frame, you Let's move this out of the way. You would take your frame and grab whatever, you, if a lot of people don't realize this, whenever you can move your object, you come up that with that four way cross. If you just have an arrow, it's going to stretch it. But when you have the four way cross, it'll move. Now, so we're going to, and I've got my snap to page on, I've got my crosshair. And I'm going to snap to that corner. 
Now, now you can run some tests with your laser door open and your red dot pointer and make sure this line is where it's supposed to be. Now going back to this heart shape, when you're putting everything on the edge, I would maybe make your frame a little bit uh, smaller on the inside and larger on the outside so your hearts don't happen to, let's go to an object, power clip, place in front, inside frame. So if you made your frame just a little bit narrower in the inside, a little bit bigger on the outside, you'll make sure you'll engrave the whole thing. And if that's a little confusing, let's do it real quick. Let's take this, let's take this frame apart. Uh, well, this is actually a curve because I did something with it earlier. Okay, it's 9.5, so we're going to go 9.25 by 7.25. So we made our inside a little bit bigger. We're going to make our outside a little bit bigger. We're going to go 13 by 10.75. We're going to group all this together. You could go control G. There's your four crosses. Now power clip. And that, okay, sometimes this doesn't work, so you have to convert this. What I can do here, just fill it in, fill it in with black, remove the black, or remove the section, put no fill. Now it'll power clip. Sometimes for some reason it won't power clip, place it side frame. So now your hearts are actually going to go past the edges on both directions. So you'll know you won't leave any, you know, ugly void spots where the hearts aren't. Because this, you'd want to go completely off the edge. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.